On the edge of the Chesapeake Bay, Annapolis, Maryland is home to the United States Naval Academy and is also the state capital, where the historic Maryland State House has been in continuous use since 1772. And on Friday, where two leaders of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints we love being partners with you in trying to do some good. President Henry B. Eyring memorializing uh, your great grandmother and Elder Gary E. Stevenson were guests of Governor Larry Hogan in his Annapolis office. That's the only photograph I've ever seen of my great grandmother. Delivering a gift to the governor of his family history. Have, according to the 1910 census. Well, I can't thank you enough. That is and discussing opportunities for people in Maryland to use the church's Just Serve initiative to promote volunteer opportunities in many communities. We had a feeling of a man uh, that really cares of, about the people. And so when we talked with him about the, the cooperation we've had with their efforts in taking care of difficult situations in people's lives, uh, he really warmed to that. On Saturday, the Latter-day Saint leaders traveled to Charlotte, North Carolina meeting with hundreds of local leaders from the region in a leadership conference before greeting individually 175 full-time missionaries who are serving in North Carolina. Each of them had an opportunity to have an interview with President Irene in that 10 or 15 seconds that he spent with each one of them, but it was very sweet to see that time that was taken. He loved you. He called you. Their faith and their devotion uh, was just palpable. You could feel that. I got a boost. I don't know what they got out of it, but I got a boost to think, oh, the servants of God. If you draw close to him, he'll draw close to you. The church leaders concluded their ministry visit in a state conference Sunday morning. Local Latter-day Saints call it an inspiring experience. The feelings of the spirit and how um, the messages that were shared, we, I know we each took something different from it, but it was an incredible experience. That was the message today too, to improve, get better. God loves you regardless.